Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another grounded video where today we're going to be going in and I'm actually going to be showing you guys uh, some of the new and updated ways to turn on the scanner system that's in the backyard. Um, I have a video up on the channel but this is part of that wanting to redo a bunch of old videos that are now outdated that everybody's still going to and saying hey sim this is wrong. So uh, with this one we're going to be going over how to get to the switch for the scanner system, how to turn it on and also the enemies you're going to fight a Along the way so first of all I'm gonna be starting by the entrance to the oak lab today because that's a pretty significant spot in the yard for people to understand and this is going to be the path that you're going to take anyway to bring yourself on over to the first lab in the game for the story so we're gonna follow it from here so I am at the oak lab right now um, right here in the middle of the backyard where we're actually heading is straight south uh, to right here to the hedge ascent. So we're going to get to there uh, first. Now on your way from here, uh, the oak lab over to the hedge ascent, you have a rare chance to find a wolf spider. So I would avoid that if possible, mainly by avoiding this at night and by avoiding it being underground or um, at night or going underneath the tree is what I'm trying to say. Uh, coming this way, running around this outside area here, you're not really gonna find anything that's gonna run into you. Maybe a wandering wolf spider, like I said, if you're doing this at night. Over here is where things start to get a little bit more tricky. Assuming how we're pretty much running straight south here towards the edge of that bush, there's a chance you could run into some stink bugs. You don't wanna fight those this early in the game. You tend to not have any armor that's worth a diddle. See, there's a stink bug right there, so you're going to want to avoid him. Uh, you'll also probably run into larva at some point and mites. Um, and as we get closer to the uh, the hedge itself, there is a chance you're going to run into bombardier beetles as well. So you want to be careful of all of those hazards while you're running over here. Okay, we're going to take just a quick jaunt right over here. I'm avoiding that uh, that mite. I just don't want to fight it. Uh, I guess it also should be, I, I should say, something you know, technically is an enemy. Uh, you While you're swimming through this water here, you also have a chance to run into water fleas. But I've never once been actually harmed by a water flea. So if you just keep swimming, you'll be fine. Okay, now the area where the hedge ascent starts is the area that we're looking for because it's right in that area is where they move the switch to see what i mean by them larva now i'm playing i'm also playing in a custom game to make sure that bugs can't kill me which is why i'm you know <laughs> I, I i wanted to do this quick tutorial for you guys and i didn't want to just die to a bug so we're just running past it just be careful of all of those cautions like i said if you're playing in an actual survival mode there's a good chance you're going to get uh, hit by those like so bring some he healing items with you it'll help but most of these you can avoid if you're careful enough and you take your time and walk around things i did not do that in this time okay here we are inside of the hedge ascent you know whoop, walk up this little stick that apparently i can't do there we go walk up here all right so on your way up here there is a cute a few key things you can get um, there's some granola bars in here. Granola bars are fantastic healing items. So you want to go ahead and get yourself a couple of those because those are going to help you in the future. There's also a log here that you could go ahead and get as well. I'm not going to be grabbing that at the moment. Uh, but what I am going to do is we're going to run up here like we're running up the hedge. There's also some raw science down there as well that you can get that will seriously help you um, get more blueprints uh, in the future. So grab that as well i don't need it for this tutorial though so i'm going to run over here and you want to take a right and run right up here now where i am where the hedge ascent is guys is right here inside of the map so remember how i said i'm running straight south so i was right here outside of the oak lab and then i ran straight south to right here to where that hedge ascent is so you come up here you follow this stick up and you run to the right and you're looking for these mushrooms you want to jump up on top of these mushrooms and grab yourself a dew drop because it's food and water. So grab that a little juice drop there. Okay, so you see where that raw science spot is right there? That's where you want to drop. So you want to drop off the zip line early. You don't need to drop off the zip line early, but you want to drop off the zip line early. So you'll zip down and then you'll drop off right here. Now, technically, the zip line ends right here. 
I'm telling you to drop off because it's just a little bit faster. But this is the area that you're looking for. So where you want to go is right up here. Up through here. I feel like they put that large raw science spot there for you specifically to call out this location. Because otherwise, a lot of players run right past it. It's an area where if you're zipping down the zip line, you'll go right on past it. And if you stop down here and you turn around to run back for the raw science, the eagle-eyed players are going to end up seeing that lit up lab up there when they're grabbing their raw science. So we're going to go in here. We're going to hop up here. And you inside of this base here, or this lab part, it's broken down, it's destroyed, but it's filled with Ruz Tees. Now, Ruz Tees, these are not as rare as some of the other robots in the game, but this is a great place to go ahead and get yourself uh, your axe being thrown at them. No, I'm kidding. Uh, get yourself your creature card, and then if you were to go through and actually fight them, you have a chance to get your gold card as well. So... Don't let that opportunity pass you by. You also have a chest in here that has a couple meals as well as a uh, some, some nuggets in there for you. But what you want to do is you want to run all the way to the back here. And then barring right here, you have some raw science. And the switch on the wall is how you actually activate it. So this is where the switch got moved to. Alright guys, and that is how you activate the new scanner system in, well, the new location for the scanner system, I should say. Uh, that switch was originally at the end of the hedge base. You had to go through and do the entire hedge lab and then you could activate it, but that's since been changed, that's since been updated. So, it can now go ahead and do it way before, literally right in the beginning of the game. The scanner system is fantastic with the scanner system, it actually does an entire a uh, large sweeping field of searching. Let's run back actually really quick and let's go over it. For those of you who have never seen the scanner system or have never activated it, I wanna go ahead and give you a little bit of a walkthrough of it because for all the new players that are joining Grounded now with the 1.0 release coming or now out, depending on when you're watching this, uh, there should be a bunch of people who may have some questions on what exactly the scanner system is and why it's so valuable and why it's so important i'm going to give you guys an example right here so the scanner system what it is is it's a link between all of the outposts in the backyard so all of these domes that you find throughout the backyard there's a whole bunch of them there's actually a map of them inside of burgle's lab um, and what it is is this resource surveyor right here so when you activate this as you go through and find each of those different domes throughout the backyard it will increase your surveying area right so as you find them your area of search will get bigger and as you find more resources, more resources will actually appear over here on the left hand side for you to be able to search. So for instance, say you really, really need a juice drop, right? You can go like this. You can say survey for resource and it'll actually send out a ping and it will highlight any locations where there is a juice drop. So for instance, there's a juice box right here, the tropical punch, there's another juice box here. There is another, I think it's actually, yeah, there's a juice box over here and then the juice box that's up in the hedge. And then you guys saw, if you saw while I was running, there was a juice spot drop on the ground, but I ignored it. But let's say you guys want to find something that's a little bit more common, like maybe plant fiber. Let's check for plant fiber. It will literally go through and show you all of the locations for plant fiber. Now, one thing I want to point out with things like dewdrops. Dewdrops are a little bit more tricky if you want to search for those because they do disappear slowly over time. So that is one you guys, when you search for it, just remember that's the original location. When it searches, you have to go back to a resource surveyor and scan again. This can be super helpful because this can help you find some more rare resources, whether it's, you know, like... Um, if you're looking for... Well, not sap's not a rare resource, but if you're looking for... I don't know. The, the, the sky is really the limit here for you guys. If you're looking for weed stems, if you're looking for a tufty, if you're looking for all sorts of things to help you in your 
play of grounded th through your game this is an excellent tool for you to use in the game so get out there get this unlocked because you could do it literally right after you do your hand scan you need to do the hand scan inside of burgle's lab first um for more information on that check out the channel but for now uh, i think this is where i'm going to leave this one so thank you everybody so much for watching this one if you liked it hit that like button i hope it was helpful even for some of you veteran players that may be looking for this again in a new playthrough uh, also if you guys could don't forget to comment and subscribe and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one.